Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be talking about the new Clay Thompson. So, yes, we did get Clay Thompson. We also got this Pink Diamond Evo Sean Marion. We're going to be uploading a separate video on Sean Marion. And I'm going to be really breaking down each of these cards and saying, is each one of these cards worth it or not? But the first card we are going to talk about today is Clay Thompson because obviously he is the Galaxy Opal. He is the most kind of hyped up card in today's job so i am going to be talking about him how much mt he costs what is he going to look like when he when he's available when super packs come out all of that today in this video but before we dive any deeper if you are new to my channel and have not yet please smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 50 000 subscribers so the first thing you guys might wonder is what does clay thompson look like how what are his stats like what are his badges like and so we are going to go over them right now so looking at galaxy opal clay here obviously the first thing is is that he is a lock-in set so you're going to have to lock in a lot of mt how much mt we're going to be going over that in the video today but he is 6'6, 6'9 wingspan 215 pounds 22 out of fame badges 26 on gold and he does have hot spots from everywhere but at the same token, he is a shooting guard small forward. And we know how many good shooting guard small forwards we have in the game. Michael Jordan, you got Jack Mayer, you got Terry Dishinger, you got T Mac, you got all these guys that kind of are in one in one group, and Clay Thompson just add him in to there. The one thing about Clay is he's going to be the best shooter out of all of them. 98 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 88 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 92 speed acceleration, as well as a 98 lateral quickness. Shooting wise, you guys see it. No steady shooter. So I'm current gen going to be probably, if not, he should be the most knockdown shooter in the game. Doesn't come with Showtime, does have Showtime dunk. So if you do give him that, obviously he's going to be able to move and groove. Now, when looking at playmaking, the big thing for him is that he can get basically everything. Comes with unpluckable is important. Can get handles for days. Defensively, comes very complete. Clamps. Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Lightning Reflex, Tyler's Defender, like, comes very, very complete. He is a Galaxy Opal, so he does have six badge spots. When he's fully badged, you're going to have 54 badges on him. Now, what it comes down to is when you compare this Clay Thompson, let's just compare him to, let's compare him to Terry Dishinger, okay? They're the same positions, so let's just compare the cards. When you compare the cards, I don't know about you guys, but I, I think it's, I think Terry has the edge. I really, truly do. He has Hall of Fame Showtime, very important. Playmaking wise, has Hall of Fame Quick First Step. Clay's is only on gold. Obviously, Clay has some other badges. Defensively, Clay has the better badges. Uh, but it's very, very close. They both have half range. Obviously, Clay's going to be more knocked down. I think I'd prefer Terry Dishinger, even when you compare Clay to Michael Jordan, when you can put Clay, when you compare Clay to Tracy McGrady. I just don't see Klay Thompson being better than most of these guys. I get it, right? You go to the six, has Klay's release on quick, going to be an elite jump shot, has pro two size up, very, very solid pro two moving crossover, which is the tween, and the pro six moving behind the back. Like, dribble six are very, very solid as well. I just personally think for as much as I'm MT as he goes for, there are plenty of other better options. If you're a big Klay Thompson fan and you like Klay, you might wonder, how much MT right now would Clay Thompson go for? Since the stats are out, a lot of these cards are going to be a, a, just a little bit cheaper. I'm not going to sit here and say they're going to be cheap because Jason Kidd still is 70K. Allen Houston still right around that 70K. So we're already at, what, 140. Paul Pierce, 20K, 160. Michael Carter Williams, 5K. And then and then uh, Walt Williams is basically 3K. So you're looking at 170 in the Atlantic set. So 170K. Then you got Ben Gordon. Is he over 100K? Let's just say Ben Gordon. Yeah, 100K for Ben Gordon. Uh, so now you at 270. Jerry Stackhouse, 60. Let's just go. Let's go 70K because that's basically what he's for. Uh, so what were we at? We were at 270, 340. Uh, TJ Warren, 20K. So now we're at 360. Brad is t is basically Brad and Urson is 10K combined. I kind of lost my my. I kind of lost where I'm at. Um, but all in all, guys, basically through these two sets, you're close to 400k. Okay, not probably a little under 400k, I think, but you're close to 400k uh, just between two sets. We've seen it probably 370k, I think, is is closer to where we're at. And then you hop into the southeast set. That's 90k alone uh, for Alonzo Morning. So now you're already up to to what 460. Then you got Brad Beal. You're at 460. Brad Beal goes for 100k. Uh, so now what are you at? Four, like well we're, we were at 360 460 
like we're at what 560 now and then you got caldwell's 30k 590 skiles and hassan whiteside you're basically at 600k after the first three sets and remember you need to complete six divisions for this so you're at 600k then you've got uh francis who is what 80k okay so now you're at 680 mark gasol what is he 100k so you're at 780 after mark gasol then you got randall 30k so now you're at what uh 810 and then let's say let's say manu and sean bradley are 10k combined you're at 820 820k mt already and we we still got two more stats then you got stockton is 100k so now now you're at what eight what were, what were we at 820 i think 920 aldridge basically 90k so you're already over a million mt guys basically i don't have the exact math but just within the five sets, you're probably looking at 1.1 million MT right now. Now, this is before Super Packs. So then on, I'm guessing we either get the next throwback moments. Probably, we'll probably see them on Tuesday is, is my guess. So when it's all said and done, when they first drop, I'm guessing you're going to be able to get clay for about 1.3, 1.4 million MT. Now, once Super Packs drop, expect that to dip below a million. But still, Clay Thompson is not even close to being able like being worth it t max way better you go and look at mj mj is way better like there are much better options for way cheaper prices if he's your favorite player in the league go ahead and do your thing because for carl anthony towns i probably would too just know he goes he goes for 1.2 million 1.4 million mt and the fact is you got to lock in that mt so you're never getting any of that mt back because even with t max since i don't have him locked in eventually i will be able to sell him back as well as a lot of my players i don't have anything locked in so that's just something that i would encourage you guys if you are even a big clay fan just take some time thinking about all the mt you're locking in <laughs> it is a lot just think about how many how much how much that mt is worth okay just think about that and you're all locking it up for clay thompson so i definitely would consider it hardly before locking in clay um, again he does guard the opposing team center often as well so just there's a lot of there's a lot wrong with this clay thompson i, I don't think he's a complete player at all yes shooting wise he's complete but i mean he, he is missing some stuff he is only 6'6 doesn't even have hall of fame quick first step he doesn't even compare to Terry, T-Mac, honestly, Kawhi. Like, there are so many better shooting guard small forwards in the game. And expect us to get another better one on Friday. So that is my final opinion on Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson. Yes, he is going to be a fun card to use if you do end up locking in the set. But at the same token, that set is worth so much empty. So I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to, if you do have all the players, take a look. If you have to sell them all back, definitely that's what I would do because Klay Thompson is just not going to be worth it in NBA 2K21. But if you do decide to do it, if you've locked in all of them, like if you've got J.R. Smith, you've got Dr. J, and if you want to go ahead and do your thing, man, hey, do what you got to do. But for me, there is absolutely a 0% chance. I, I don't think we'll even see Clay in a 250K squad. Now, we might. We might because he is a knockdown shooter and he's decent enough on defense. But I would be stunned if more than two or three people run him in 250K. But that is my final opinion on Galaxy Opal Clay Thompson. Drop your comments down below. Are you going to lock in Clay or not? Let me know because I think he is one of the worst value cards, probably the worst value card in NBA 2K21. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.